If you have ever wondered where the word cybersecurity came into existence, well, you have come to the right place. Now, this word wasn't really invented by someone. Its existence is a collective combination of years of research and inventions done by some great technicians. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the history behind this word. And I'll try to make it engaging enough so you won't get bored and lose your focus while actually trying to learn something new. Now, let's go back to 1970 when ARPANET, the grandparent of the internet, consider this more of like a earlier version of the internet, released the network control protocol, which enabled different computers to share files between each other from remote locations. A fun fact, the first four computers connected through ARPANET were all universities. Now let's cut to 1971, when an individual named Bob Thomas who used to work at BBN, also known as Raytheon BBN nowadays, created the first computer virus named Creeper. It may sound a bit suspicious, but it wasn't really harmful at all. When it infected a computer, it used to display a message on the screen saying, I am the Creeper, catch me if you can. Consider this more of a digital prank, as it didn't damage any files or steal information, like most viruses do nowadays. However, after a while, it became more of an annoyance. In response to this, Ray Tomlinson, another member of BBN Technologies, invented the Reaper antivirus, designed to eliminate the Creeper whenever it was detected in any system. Fast forward to 1988, when a researcher named Robert Morris, who was studying at Cornell University at that time, created the first computer worm named Morris, which was a digital bug that spread through computer networks. Although the intentions were to make it harmless, a coding error reversed its nature from harmless to harmful, which resulted in legal actions against Robert Morris. This incident spread a lot of awareness among the public about the need of cybersecurity. Cut to 1990, when in the late 90s, the internet was made available to the public, connecting 2.6 million people worldwide. Now that's a huge number. Now let's jump to 1994. Data stream, Cowboy and Kuji, a 16-year-old British schoolboy and his accomplice used a password sniffer program to launch a series of attacks that crippled the Air Force Rome laboratory while stealing research data used as attack instructions for warplanes in battle. Another highlight of this year was the invention of HTTPS by Netscape Communications, increasing security during surfing. And right now, HTTPS is quite common these days. In 1998, one of the incidents that was highlighted was the Iceman, US government website hack. Max Butler, also known as Iceman, was imprisoned for 18 months after hacking US government websites. In 2007, Max Butler was arrested by the US Secret Service for his cyber crimes and subsequently convicted and sentenced to 13 years in federal prison. The case against him served as a significant milestone in the fight against cybercrime and sent a strong message about the consequences of engaging in illegal hacking and financial fraud. Now let's talk about some laws and regulations created by the US government regarding cybersecurity. The first one on the list is of course the CFAA, aka Computer Fraud and Abuse Act of 1988. By the way, Robert Morris was the first person to be indicted under this act. The second one on the list is FISMA, which is known as Federal Information Security Management Act, Framework of 2002. Third one is something you may have heard in some movies as well, which is the Homeland Security Act of 2002. This act created the Department of Homeland Security, one of the most recognized institutions in USA. The fourth one is the NIST, of course, the National Institute of Standards and Technology Cybersecurity Framework. Now I could go on with a lot of other incidents that I feel were a part of this, but I think you can get an idea about the existence of cybersecurity until now. As the internet continued to evolve, so did the significance of cybersecurity. Government, organizations, and individuals recognize the critical need to protect sensitive information from cyber attacks. And there you have it, the origin of the term cybersecurity. It emerged from the combination of cyber influenced by some science fiction and security driven by the need to protect digital assets in an increasingly interconnected world. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of the word cybersecurity. It's incredible to see how far we have come since its inception and the importance of cybersecurity continues to grow each day. Stay tuned for more exciting content and don't forget to, you know, like, share, subscribe and do all the other drills, other social media drills. Until next time, stay safe and secure in the digital world.